After one year, I'm even more convinced that the next China is China. But China is an important market for European business. It's definitely here to stay. For the next three to five years, we believe China can still deliver a decent growth. After major shifts in its COVID-19 response, China has navigated post-pandemic economic recovery with constant global attention. How has the recovery played out? Is the Chinese market uninvestable or irreplaceable? Will China sustain growth for long run? We have interviewed three long-time China observers to answer these questions and offer insights of the present and future of the Chinese economy. No, European companies are not running for the exit. That's not what we see. Uh, we see by and large that, that, that uh, most of our uh, companies, they remain very committed to the Chinese market and we are here for the, for the long run. Uh, we used to say that, uh, you know, China is a fitness center for European companies because you really need to work hard to be competitive, re competitive reduce your cost, uh, innovate, uh, uh, provide uh, your best and latest uh, technology to the market, so highly, highly com uh, competitive. In the supply chain that has been developed in China over the last 30 years, it's something that is very difficult to replicate. Um, not at the same quality, not at the same cost, not at the same value for money. And the market itself, obviously China today, this year, is still one third of global GDP growth. So I think, you know, as you look around, um, you will very quickly realize that there is really no other market like China. Uh, it's in negative right now, but part of it is due to this uh, hog price cycle. You know, um, hog is a big part of China's CPI component, and that part is still facing some oversupply due to the legacy issues in the last two to three years. If you exclude food and oil, just look at the cold goods, it's fairly growing. China is today uh, the, the second largest economy uh, in the world. Uh, we continue still that there that will be uh, a growth um, uh, in, in China uh, going, going forward. So even though the growth might be, be, be lower, it will still be, uh, be, be growth and, and probably also uh, for the next decades uh, or so at levels that, that, that are at or above the levels that we would expect to see in, the, in Europe and the and, and United States. Our answer is yes, because if you look at China versus some other countries that you mentioned, there are three key differences. One is China is still in this catching up stage. Their potential growth is higher than many other countries who picked a long time ago. The second one is the policy rule. China, Chinese government has a lot of firepower if they decided they need to decisively fend off this debt loop. And finally, I would say, yes, China is also undergoing this adjustment in the property sector, but I'm sure it won't be a lost decade. I think the first one is energy. I think when you're in China, you really feel the energy of the market, right? And that is actually very, very important. And it's hard to find anywhere else in the world. The second one, I would say, is innovation. The speed of innovation um, and um, the, the speed of how products can come to market, I think there is no other market where the competitive intensity right, is as much. And the third is probably scale. I think at the end of the day, China market provides you the scale where you do want to invest, um, you want to want to long term, and if you do do well, um, you do have an outsized reward.